Welcome back my legends and today I'm going to explain the stories from the Outlands Hero cinematic and trying to explain the lore and also give you some hidden details that not many people know about and so we start from the beginning where we see Newcastle being celebrated by the people of Harris Valley and this is interesting because Harris Valley is kind of a retcon city because originally in season 8 we got a map of Solis and some of the cities and we don't really see Harris Valley on here so it goes to show you they didn't really have Jackson's lore or backstory completely set up yet because we now know is that Newcastle was originally some guy named Rene which I'm guessing this is Jackson's best friend because he does mention that he does work on his armor and so that leads me to believe that this might have been the person that saved Jackson from the desert because in the year 2721 this is where the whole incident happened where he got separated from Bangalore but we know for a fact he survived because Bangalore mentioned how he always put on his jump kit every morning and so when Jackson crash landed on the planet I'm guessing he was severely injured or maybe he didn't remember who he was and this is where this Rene guy comes into play where he could have been the person to help Jackson out by bringing him back to his town of Harry's Valley where I'm guessing Jackson just decided to settle down and start a family now I know what some people are going to say Kevin did Jackson give up on looking for his sister yes and no you see I think they're going to make up this story where Jackson forgot who he was for the first few years until the year 2727 when he remembered everything because because we know for a fact he sent a message to his parents telling them that he misses them and also that he was going to get married the reason i'm saying this is because on apex legends twitter we see a teaser and what looks to be like a wedding picture so it's safe to assume that jackson got married that year and in the next year him and his wife had their first kid which we don't know what his name is but i'm assuming he's around six to seven years old because we didn't see him in the wedding picture and then eventually they had their second kid named carissa craig now that last name is very interesting because we know Jackson's last name is Williams but it looks like he changed it to Craig now we know for a fact that Jackson faked his death in the year 2729 so I'm gonna take a wild guess that somebody found out about Jackson's IMC past probably were blackmailing him and him not wanting his family to be harassed for the rest of their lives for being tied with you know his IMC past he decided to fake this death and this could explain why Jackson never really tried to make contact with his sister Anita because he probably was too afraid that if he did that information that he's still alive might get leaked to the public or the press or worse the people that might be after him and the reason I'm saying that is because if you want to talk to the legends you first have to go through security and they're definitely going to do a background check on him and also the head of security is Grace Rashid which by the way she literally was willing to take bribes from Mirage's dad and also she has met Miss Angela Fascio which was the one who wrote the whole Bangalore article that we see in the newspaper and so for Jackson is kind of a sticky situation where he can't really contact Bangalore without risking his new identity being exposed and so to me it doesn't seem like Jackson did not want to contact Bangalore it's more like he didn't want to take that risk and end up losing his entire family again now going back to the cinematic I want to point out a few things that I found very interesting and that being Jackson's son saying that he did did not like Bangalore because she was an IMC jerk which makes sense because most people in the Outlands did not like the IMC and sold them as the bad guys but the irony of this is not only is Bangalore his auntie but Jackson his dad is a certified IMC pilot and so it's funny to me that Jackson's kid hates Bangalore because she's related to the IMC dude your whole family bloodline is the IMC we know this because of what Scryer said about the Williams family legacy so Jackson goes back to his shop called Lamont Hand which I was told was part of Jackson's fake identity where he's now going as Lamont Craig instead of Jackson Williams where he sees Renee as Newcastle getting beat up by these two gangster thugs now it's kind of makes sense now why Newcastle has struggled to get in the games if he could not beat these two gangsters I really doubt he could beat anybody in the apex roster and so what happens is that Jackson kind of has to save the day for his friend and that's where he learns from the leader of this group that apparently his friend owes a lot of money and he sold out the town somehow and so to keep the city safe from being burnt down he has to repay the debts of his friend and this is where things get interesting because Medrell kind of says that he's feeling generous and he'll give him a chance obviously he's going to give him a chance because he can clearly see he's a better fighter than his friend he took down those two dogs by himself which makes sense because again Jackson is a former pilot and so for him it shouldn't be that hard to join the apex game 
games. The real hard part for him is facing his sister and having to explain everything. What happened ever since the incident? Why didn't he contact her all these years? And also he got married, has a family, and how to fake his death for his new family's safety. And so yeah, my legends, that will kind of do it for this explanation video. The only thing left I really want to know is how will Bangalore handle this? Because I have a feeling that Jackson is not going to want Bangalore to be part of their lives because not only would that put his family safety in danger but maybe just maybe deep down he actually did give up on his sister Anita I mean think about it he gave up on his family on gridiron what's going to make Bangalore so sure he won't do it again and so yeah my legends that'll do it for this explanation video and also thanks to the sponsor of this video glitch energy if you're wondering what I'm drinking when I'm coming up with these ideas it's some glitch energy and right now they're having a sale where you can get their star pack for a discount if you use my code king kev for 25 percent off thank you glitch energy for sponsoring this video and i'll see you all next time my legends peace